guys, it's Darren at Supernova Pop Culture Expo here in Perth, and we're here with Adam Baldwin. How are you going? I'm great. Having a great time in Perth. Yeah, thanks very much for taking a few minutes and having a chat with us. Um, how are you finding your time in Australia so far? It's been wonderful. We spent time Supernova at Sydney, and um, we got over here uh, Wednesday last yep. and went out to the Swan River Valley and saw some of the beautiful countryside. Drunk some wine. Had a little bit of uh, the wine tastings. There's some amazing vineyards out there. Yesterday, I, uh, I mean on Friday, I walked around up to Kings Park yep. and saw the memorial up there. It's such a beautiful city. The weather's been fine. It's warm sun, cool Last air. year, it was raining throughout the whole yeah. thing. So, you, yeah. Been blessed. <laughs> Very blessed. Yeah. Um, just to talk about what you're working on at the moment, the last ship. Um, what's it like shooting in such a confined space? <laughs> the taller you are, the more confining it is. Yeah, yeah well, that's what I thought, because I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't think you were so tall, and then you walked in the room just then, and I was like, wow, okay. So uh, it? Yeah, I'm, I'm fortunate it's not a submarine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been aboard a couple of uh, Navy su uh, subs, and you ha I have to duck yeah. quite a bit. Uh, but we, we're on a big-time Navy guided missile destroyer, yeah. and that's the mythical USS Nathan James. And uh, I play the XO, Commander Slattery. Yeah. And um, how different, because I'm obsessed with Chuck, and I, to be honest, I still watch it now all the time. Yeah. How different is it working from Chuck on to the last ship? So, because obviously it's a military and... Yeah. yeah. Chuck had a smaller feel. Yeah. Uh, and, and the scale of... The last ship is is much broader, and and the the crew is bigger, the cast is bigger. Um, Chuck was a little more intimate. Um, yeah. So and we also have the we have the cooperation of the United States Navy, so they're they're really uh, allowing us to portray them in a in a in a positive yeah. light, and uh, that's sort of how it works. When you want yeah. the Navy to cooperate, they <clears throat> they sort of ask you to be uh, yeah. accurate. Definitely, and obviously you're a big fan of the military and, and all that, so I suppose for you working, at, well, being in a role as a military person, I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. Um, typecasting? Well, not really typecasting, <laughs> but it's, it's something that you would enjoy to do, obviously, because you're, you love the military and I yeah. follow you on Twitter, so I see you say military stuff all the time, and yeah. you said that you had some drinks with some US military that are in, in uh, dock here the other day as well. So. Yeah, that's right. I ran into four... Uh, Four sailors who were uh, at Liberty, yep. and uh, was able to buy them a beer, <laughs> and uh, we had a good chat. Uh, yes, uh, my father was in the uh, United States Naval Air Corps at the end of World War II, and yep. so my family has a, a military tradition. I happened to go off into the entertainment business, yep. but we try to portray it as best we can and as accurately as we can. Yeah. Now, one of my friends, when I mentioned that I was going to possibly be chatting to you, he's like asking about Kubrick. Yeah. What was it like working with him? Oh, Stanley Kubrick uh, was a movie I did, Full yeah. Metal Jacket. I was 23. Most of us were very young uh, men under his direction. And Lee Ermey, who yeah. was our drill instructor, <clears throat> he was a visionary, Kubrick. Yeah. He always had the, the frame and the, the beautiful picture ready and set up to go. Unfortunately, we were under the constraints of the English yeah. sky. We shot Full Metal Jacket, a Vietnam War movie in yeah. London, England. So <clears throat> he had to manipulate us at the proper times of day, especially when the sun was yeah. low in the morning, and then it would be under the, the uh, above the cloud deck, yeah. and then it would come down. Uh, so a lot of the light that you'll see is sunset or sunrise okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. or okay. fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fire. More fire, he would yell, or more blood, he would yell. Wow. A lot. Okay. Uh, and another question that's been handed to me is, uh, who would win in a fight, Casey or Jane? Yeah. <laughs> You're a troublemaker. <laughs> I'm not supposed to put a... Con well, I think probably Jane. He's a little younger, but Casey has uh, better marksmanship skills and probably yeah. higher tech uh, telescopic sights. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, well, we'll wrap it up there. I just want to have a quick chat. But, yeah, thanks for taking the time to have a chat with Appreciate us. it. I love being at Supernova. And uh, thank you, Perth and yep. Sydney and Australia. It's been great. No worries. Thanks, Mike. God bless. Cheers.